Let's talk about Kalaginan. Have you heard of it? Maybe not, but I'm sure that you've probably seen that word on some of your favorite delights. According to Wikipedia, Kalaginans are a family of linear sulfated polysaccharides that are extracted from red edible seaweed. So what does that mean and why is it in my food? To answer the first part of the question, Kalaginan is the product of processing the red seaweed with alkaline, which is then filtered. At the end of the processing is carrageenan recovery. It is then used as an emulsifier or a thickener for various foods. Carrageenan can be found in vegan and non-vegan foods, as well as meat and dairy. All of this from red algae. Aside from being an additive, I've heard that it can be used as a de-icer. Is it safe to consume? Well, in my opinion, I think that it comes down to quantity. If you consume a large portion of food containing this additive, of course you will consume more of it. But considering how carrageenan can be found in both vegan and non-vegan food, processed meats and organic and non-organic foods, let me ask, is it any more harmful to consume low-fat burgers which can contain carrageenan in the cheese and patty than enjoying a fruit smoothie made with the soy milk that may contain carrageenan? What's so bad about carrageenan anyway, you may ask? According to some sources, red seaweed in itself is not problematic, but today's processed carrageenan is. Red seaweed has been used for centuries due to its gelling components. We should note that there are different kinds of carrageenan, degraded and undegraded. The difference? Molecular weight. In regards to food, undegraded carrageenan is approved by the FDA. Carrageenan has been damaging to the digestive system. Taken from Prevention.com, I quote, Triggering an immune response similar to that your body has when invaded by pathogens like Samula, end quote. It causes inflammation, and in animal testing by Dr. Joanne Tubachman, Associate Professor of Clinical Medicine at the University of Illinois School of Medicine in Chicago, a concerning connection between carrageenan and gastrointestinal cancer has been found. This slime, which offers no nutritional value, can be avoided by eating a natural diet. A raw food diet cuts out processed meats, cheeses, and drinks. Eat fresh fruit, drink all natural beverages, ideally ones made by yourself. Most importantly, educate yourself and read all of the ingredients in what you consume. Avoiding carrageenan doesn't have to be an extreme challenge, but it can be intensive. Cornucopia.org has a healthy list of products that contain carrageenan and provides alternatives for those looking to avoid it. Now the big question is, is carrageenan vegan? Well, carrageenan is derived from processing red seaweed. Red seaweed is an algae. What then is an algae? Algae is a eukaryote. What is a eukaryote? It's an organism with a nucleus and organelles enclosed in a membrane. These eukaryotes reproduce and respond to stimuli. These eukaryotes are living. So if they are living, that makes carrageenan 